Hey guys, Action Very Jump Squad here, and today, um, in close proximity to when I got the Assassin Predator, uh, I saw this uh, Emissary Predator at uh, my comic book store, so I thought that was pretty sick, so I went ahead and picked him up. So to take a look at the packaging, you have the little target reticle there, it says the Predator, you got a cool uh, our, uh, concept art shop, the Emissary Predator. It says Emissary Predator 1 because there's two variations of this. It's the Ultimate Edition. Uh, we have the uh, a product shot here and Emissary Predator there. And another reticle up there. There's a quick bio right here if you want to read that. You can pause the video. We have some cool product shots on the back. And just like a cool like city under the thermal vision. Uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, same thing on this side as uh, this side. And uh, when you open up this panel, uh, you have a nice product shot here with him holding his gun and everything. And you can see the, vig the figure through the window. If you want to keep him in the box, you can. And I think that's pretty cool. So uh, let's crack this guy open. Okay, guys. Now we have the uh, Emissary Predator out of the packaging. And I think this figure looks amazing. I really wish that he was in the movie. Um... I, I don't know, I just, I'm a little bit disappointed about that, but I, I'm glad that we got a figure of it, at least. So, um, let's go over his accessories first. So, he comes with, uh, one head that has the same mask as the Fugitive Predator, but the paint apps, like, here, uh, match his skin tone of, like, the purple and pink. Uh, but otherwise, it's, like, the same head, so there's not much going on there. Uh, we get this new hand, which is to grip the, uh the end of the gun like the barrel and you know whatever uh then you get two open hands like we did with the previous predator uh pretty good they just have like uh the gloves on with like the uh matching his uh armor then you get fisted hands then on here you have a hand with a trigger finger and here is the other fist um so here, I'll bring him closer. So, as you can see on this head sculpt, it's pretty similar to the fugitive head sculpt. I think it might actually be the same. Uh, here, let me check. Okay, so here we have the fugitive predator head sculpt. And as you can see, they are different. I'm not too sure where this head sculpt does come from then. If you guys do know where this head comes from, let me know in the comment section below. But let's move on with our review. So... I think, um, I just want to give a big props to NECA for their paint apps. I feel like there's no paint splotches, nothing where it shouldn't be. Um, and here, let's take a closer look at the gun. I think that this, I mean, you know, there's not much that you can really do with the paint apps on the gun, but it just, it looks clean. There's no, like, uh, fuzziness to the paint. It just looks nice. And you can, um, open up the top, uh, have them pretend to reload a new belt and the bullets are individually painted uh, I think that's pretty cool I don't know if you can see in the camera but yeah uh, I think that's pretty cool yeah it's it's a great accessory but now let's get into his articulation so uh, his head can move left and right he does have trouble moving past like that mark right there uh, just because of the shoulder pads on the armor he can look down about that far and look up. Not very much at all. He pretty much just goes into neutral. So his shoulders, it's a little bit disappointing, but they only move up that far because of that shoulder pad. Uh, and this one as well. They both just kind of clash um, and block the joint. And then he has uh, double joint elbows uh, that swivel at each uh, joint. On this side, you can bend it further. Uh, just because it doesn't have the gauntlet on this side uh, and it does swivel at both intersections uh, he has a wrist hinge and rotation on both hands uh, this one can't move up as much because the gauntlet then he has a uh, two he's the waist joint and the ab diaphragm joint so uh, you can crunch him forward that far with both of them that far back he can rotate at either one. Uh, not so much at the waist, though. Um, he can kick out that far. Kick back that far. He does... He can... Uh, he has a waist... Uh, 
I forgot what you call that, Joan. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but he can kick out sideways about that far. He has an upper thigh cut right there. He has double joint knees. And uh, his ankle articulation isn't that great, but you can kind of shift it down. You can barely shift it up. And he has like very mild ankle pivot. So yeah, that's not too great if you want to pose him. But overall, he still is a very good looking figure. So let's get into some size comparisons. So here I have the Emissary Predator next to the Fugitive Predator. And as you can tell, they scale pretty well. We, we haven't seen them in the movie next to each other, but it does look like the Fugitive Predator is a little bit taller, just by a hair. It might just be his helmet, but his uh, shoulders are a little bit elevated as well. So, I don't know. The, they scale well, though. And then if we move to the right here, we have the Assassin Predator, which towers them like by another uh, like four or five inches, it looks like. He's just a massive predator. I'm glad that they made him that big compared to these guys. Um, yeah, so I think he scales pretty well. Uh, now for my overall review. Okay, guys, so for my overall review of this predator figure, I would say it, it's about equal to the fugitive predator, but I do like the camo a lot. Um, but his ankle articulation is like the main letdown, I guess. Um, but I think NECA did a great job with this one. One thing that I will say is that he was very stiff out of the box, and I was scared that I was going to break him, so I did heat up his joints, uh, before I, uh, articulated him a lot. So, yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of fun posing him. I've had him for about a day and a half now. He's a great figure. I would definitely recommend him to you. Just, uh, you know, take precaution when you first get him. But, yeah, I, I think he's a great figure. Easy 8 out of 10. So, thank you guys for watching to the end. And we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Action for your jump squad out.